Hello, my name is David Loggins. I'm a mental health counselor with Harmony Us, a partner agency at the Family Justice Center. Today we're going to discuss our tips of the week. The tip of the week this week is the importance of positive thinking. Um, positive thinking is a contagious act. Um, the more you think positively, the more people are going to want to be around you. The first thing I'm going to bring up is finding positives in your daily life. For example, if you go to a waiting room or something along those lines, instead of thinking about the negatives in that waiting room, try to find something positive, whether it be a magazine that you like or someone's outfit, anything like that. Find something that makes you happy and focus on that. Or if you're talking with someone and they're bringing up negatives and they're bringing up positives, focus on something positive they say and continue down that line of reasoning. Um, the more you do this, you'll realize you'll, you'll have a positive outlook yourself and trying to stop any negative self-talk. The more you do this, you will increase your own lifespan. You will have a lower rate of depression, a lower level of distress. Um, you'll find that you're resistant to the common cold. This will improve your psychological well-being. You'll lower your risk of heart disease. And you'll even develop better coping skills. The next thing I'm going to discuss is positive affirmations. Now, what is an affirmation? An affirmation is every word you think about yourself, every thought you have. It's your inner dialogue. Some examples of this is, I believe in myself. I'm a unique and special person. I am at peace. I trust in the process of life. My life is filled with joy. I choose to love. I choose joy. I choose happiness. I attract healthy relationships. And I'm grateful for what I have. When I was thinking about some of the positive thoughts, I came across this story. It's loosely tied into this, but it has a good meaning. It's the bird over the swamp. There was a bird who lived in a rotten tree in the swamp. It was used to being there. It ate worms, mud. It was always dirty. The weight of the, the, the dirt kept the bird from being able to fly. Well, one day, big gust of wind came through, destroyed the nest, the mud covered the tree, and the bird was kind of just stuck with no home. So the bird decided to just really flap his wings as hard as he could until he felt like he wasn't going to be able to do it. But the gust of wind picked him up and he flew. And he ended up finding a very nice and beautiful forest. So the moral of this is no matter how you've lived or the mistakes you make, today is the day that you can take flight. Now to wrap this up, I came up with 10 tips to overcome any negative thoughts you might have. The first one would be to try meditation or yoga. This will ease your mind and you'll feel better and they're easy to find. You can go on the computer and the internet, magazines, various sources of that and find really good ways to do this. Smile. This sounds silly, but it actually works. Surround yourself with positive people. Try to avoid any negative people in your life and keep the positive people at a forefront. Think positively. Don't think that things happen to me. Think I overcome obstacles in my path. Take responsibility for the things that you do. Rem remember that there's always a positive option. There's always a positive way out. Help people, whether this means volunteering or just help people around you with seemingly simple or mundane tasks. Remember that no one is perfect. Sing happy songs. When you're down, list five things that make you happy. And finally, try to look up and read positive quotes as often as you can. Thank you so much.